and welcome everybody here in Twitch Chats and everybody on YouTube. For the Brawl day today, it's Wednesday, we're going to be playing some Brawl. We got four Brawl decks to play, two do donation decks, a little more casual decks that we're going to be playing in the middle. Um, and then we have uh, Domri and Nicol Bolas on the other side. So let's start with Domri. This is Domri Chaos Bringer, our four mana legendary Planeswalker. Um, this is what this deck is is built around. Um, Domri's plus one ability adds mana, which having extra mana in the Brawl format, certainly a uh, positive thing. That's, de that's definitely something that you really want to have. And it gives all of our creatures Riot, so we can give our creatures haste. Um, there's a lot of, like, you know, like sweepers. I guess there's not just a ton of sweepers, but there's a lot of, like, slower decks in Brawl um, and uh, big, big powerful spells, I guess. Um, and so having haste creatures that can try to get underneath some of that stuff is pretty valuable. And so that's what Domri can do is, is give our creatures haste. And plus it can give us some card advantage with that minus three that we can maybe get, uh, we get a look at the top four. And if we have a couple of creatures and then we can take those creatures and put them into our hand. So we get some, um, add haste to all of our creatures and add some mana, which mana is very valuable. And then also get us a little bit of card advantage. So kind of do a lot of stuff there. So with Domri here, we're playing 22 creatures, which is really about as low as I want to go. I, I, I wanted to play more creatures, but with this format, there's just so many good spells as opposed to creatures that you really want to have in your deck. Really powerful spells like Guardian Project and Escape to the Wilds and the Great Henge. Things that can get you a whole lot of cards. Um, so we have 22 creatures. Um, but yeah, we got a lot of... Uh, Larger creatures that hit pretty hard, especially if we can give them haste. A lot of them have haste to begin with anyway. Uh, bringing in a Marauding Raptor in here, help make our creatures cost one less. But of course, this will deal uh, two damage to each creature that we play. So there's a downside here. Um, this downside can be mitigated by our, uh, by our commander that can give our creatures a plus one, plus one counter if need be to make sure like a car like Incubation Druid wouldn't die to that. But still, one one power things will still die to that. Um, but uh, if we have, so if we have Domri plus if we have, uh, where's Grum Goalie? There's Grum Goalie, then our creatures will enter with an additional plus one, plus one counter on it. It says non-humans, we don't have any humans in here, so we're good to go there. Um, so the, the combination of Domri plus Grum Goalie and also plus the Great Henge that also puts a plus one, plus one counter on stuff could maybe help um, our creatures stay alive with this. I guess the Great Henge doesn't really actually matter because that's a trigger afterwards, so it would still take the damage. Or I guess I could stack the trigger. So yeah, actually that would work. Anyway, um, yeah, so let's let's uh, see how this does with Brawl here. Uh, this, is, this is the one out of the four that I put together. Um, so, I mean, hopefully it does good. I just I wanted to play some Domri and, and get some creatures and attack with them and see how this goes. So, yeah, let's get started. All right, so it's Wednesday, Brawl Day. It's the only day that they have Brawl on Arena for now. Hopefully that's something they change. But as you can see, it says Wednesday Brawl. I'm going to click on that. Uh, select our deck. Let's go with Domri. Let's see how this goes. Hey, Dr. Dents. Yes, we have a Ravager Worm. Yep, got a Ravager Worm in here. So we're good there. Got a lot of ways to ramp early. Not a, a lot, I guess, but we have we have some ramp early and then a bunch of big threats. I guess I didn't really explain Brawl, if you're kind of new to Brawl. We haven't played it in a couple of weeks. Um, it's a singleton format. That's why you see one of every single card. Um, you have 25 life instead of 20. You have your commander that's basically an eighth card in your hand. So it's basically you start with eight cards in hand. All right, looks like my opponent has the time waster. So do I want green, double green or double red? I kind of think I may want double red. Nah, double green. I 
Hey, <laughs> Dr. Dan Scoot says, Got to feel so comfy every day I get home late from work and there's Todd online stream some good magic games. Feels like home. Well, ha happy to have you here. Ah, uh, yeah, Dracuseth. In your version of this deck, that makes sense. Dracuseth's pretty awesome. So the Teferi deck probably has a whole lot of counter spells. Darn. I'm certainly hoping that did not get countered. So Bronsodon is a dinosaur. I'll pump up the Marauding Raptor. I kind of wanted to slow my opponent down. Or, I guess, play a little slower. I wanted to... Like, I could have just done this last turn. Just play these two. Maybe I should have done that. They're going to have to deal with the battlefield and hopefully tap out. When they do, I can play. I can resolve my Domri. I wish Threat was also an instant. That'd be cool. Um. All right, Teferi's in play. Trust me, I have a plan. Hmm. Adurio, five months. Thank you so much. You become an elk. Todd becomes an elk. Hawkeye becomes an elk. Everyone an elk. That's some that's some standard magic right now. Everyone in Elk. First of the day. Thank you so much there, Duriel. Um, let's see. Playing against counter spells is lame. Really could use a land there.
I'm, I'm eventually going to have to trade for these counters anyway. Eventually. Okay, Grumgully is pretty good. Hey, Cube. I wouldn't say I really have a favorite commander right now. I I haven't played that much Brawl, honestly. Hmm. There goes a couple of lands. Uh, playing Incubation Druid is not a good idea with Marauding Raptor in play. So, like, this Incubation Druid is just uncastable right now. Might as well change that. Yeah, Brawl is just best of one. Yeah, it's just... I mean, that's that's just how it is. There's, there's no sideboards in Brawl. It's just a singleton format. So they still have five la five cards over there. They haven't really been drawing lands either. They just have infinite counter spells. They've already played five counter spells. That six counter spells. That was a great turn for them with having disdainful stroke plus insight.
resolved. Oh, it's a beautiful day. Gonna take a gander. No, no geese here. So they can use Mobilize District to kill Domri or Angel of Grace here. But still, I get to draw a couple of cards. I'll take it. Yeah, Command Tower just adds mana. Like, this should just be in every... You should just have this in basically every Brawl deck. Unless you're like a monocolor deck that wants the basics. Um... Just adds mana of any color, equal to like whatever your commander's identity is. So like it, it could add a red or a green in this deck. Uh, there aren't brawl events right now. There was one like it, like whenever it was introduced, but there's not any currently. So five and then three. Ugh. I guess this thing only costs four. Alright, they're down to nine. I just have two cards with the Teferi and the Insight right now. Maybe they'll be out of counter spells. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. I've countered eight things so far. All right, good job, Matthew. You made it through the interview number two today. Awesome. That's awesome. Great news. Is that counterspell number ten? I think. I know my responsibility. That's more like it. I really hope they're out of counter spells. Nope. 
Need to put Veil of Summer in the Brawl deck. No, I don't think my opponent has a rule of law in their deck. No, I don't think so. Alright, new game here. We'll lead with the castle since we don't have a mountain to keep this thing to be able to from coming into play untapped. The Yara's pretty sweet. Um, I guess I lead with the, the guild gate's always going to come into play tab, so I guess I'll lead with that. Maybe we draw a mountain that unlocks the castle later. I went one four in the last three leagues on on Magic Online. Yeah, Magic. Yeah, it's tough. Like those leagues, those leagues are they're not easy. You want to piss you really quick before you get your teeth kicked in. Lock Twain. Yeah. A Yara is the first of Lock Twain. It's a hard T. As far as I know, I mean, I, I could be wrong on that. That's just what I, that's what I thought. That's what I would assume. But yeah, I guess it could be Lock the Wayne. I don't think it's Lock the Wayne, but maybe it is. Oh no! I don't like these colorless lands that they have too much. Yeah, like Loch Ness. Yeah. Loch Twain. Playing Bomber. Hmm. I hope they don't have removal. Like, you know, like, so they are a Cranko deck, which is, makes this tougher. Because they have removal for Incubation Druid. This could be kind of rough. That's good. I don't think I was casting that great henge anytime soon anyway. This is pretty rough. I can't kill this Krenko with the Domri right now. So I guess my best plan is is trying to flash an Ambusher and block Krenko. I think that's my best plan here.
of course, I have to let this Clamor Shaman trigger happen. Good hand, GG's. One and two. Yeah, that was brutal. Let's see him at sprint. This is the song, this is the red jump jumpsuit apparatus and the song title is face down but yeah there is a song command it it just didn't work there for some reason All right, definitely a good hand. Oh yeah, we have a free mulligan. I can remember to mulligan a little bit more. All right, looks like we're playing against Counterspell Tribal again. So yeah, they get to play every. So they have Leyline of Anticipation, Anticipation in play, which means they can play all their spells at instant speed. So I assume their deck's just filled with counter spells again. Seems to be a pretty safe assumption. Fantero! Thank you so much. Another month of interesting magic content. Thanks, Todd. You, well, you're welcome, Fiontero. Thanks for that continued support. Okay, so I have five mana to, to make sure to resolve something with. And I guess the Great Henge is the best possible card to resolve. Tap the ambusher. But now, of course, we have to resolve other creatures in order to draw cards with the Great Hen. So, I don't know. Maybe it was better to play like Domri or something. Nah, it's probably the best to play Great Hen. I should have attacked with Pulp Collector too. Probably. Right, like if I would have attacked with Pelt Collector, I could have activated Castle and made it a three power creature.
Looks like we need to be packing our Veil Summers with this format. Oh, that's really rough. It's rough. Glorious day for some anarchy. <laughs> Maybe I'll hang on to this if that's all right with you. <sighs> Gadwick's so good. Tap and everything. So Midnight Clock has eight counters. It's getting pretty close. I'd have three mana left if I activate. See, I don't want to play stuff, even though, like, these things have haste, I don't want to play them main phase because they get to just counter and tap my attacking creature. I don't want to play them, like, the first main phase. Hey, Pitch, good evening. Hey, Deacon! Thanks for the big cheers. Taking that first slot. Thank you, Deacon. Alright, so milled over three lands for me. Last card was Magic Mirror. Um, Deckmaster went down, like, Saturday or so. Friday or Saturday. Uh, 
This is the song called Roads by Kid Astray. Yeah, MTG bot's not working with the song <laughs> command either. Things aren't working too well right now, it looks like. Already played my land. Lame. The only deckmaster alternative that I know of is um is cardboard live. That you can't just install, you have to like send an email and ask permission and stuff, and it's just too much work that I didn't really feel like doing with having Deckmaster already. Because, yeah, I went to look to install it, and they're like, it's in beta phase, and you have to like apply, and it's like, I don't really feel like applying. So two, three. Yeah, I wish you could just install the yeah, the, the cardboard live. I wish you could just install it. The mind is a tempest that can be controlled or unleashed. Thanks, Pre Poker. Yeah, glad you're enjoying the brawl. I yeah, I've, I've done really bad with brawl with all of my decks so far. I've not not found any success with Brawl at all. So maybe we gotta play blue. I don't I don't think we can really win this anymore. At least, at least I need like removal or something. Like, I guess I'm, I'm, I guess I'm just not playing enough removal. This Gadwick has just completely dominated me with its ability. This game. Well then. I was not expecting that to resolve. That works. I 
Yeah, Slay Line Anticipation's been pretty nice, like how they got to flash in that Magic Mirror at end step. They, they, yeah, this card having flash is really good. They don't have a maximum card hand size anymore. Ideally, I'd like the Bronzedon to blow up this Magic Mirror, but you know it's still going to be pretty difficult to win with all these cards that they have. I guess I need to go to attacks first. God, was just going to tap everything. Maybe I shouldn't go into attacks. No, I'm not going to be decking my opponent. My opponent's going to be able to kill me long before they deck. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure they're playing a Jace also. Yeah, like decking them is not really going to be a thing. I mean, they could definitely be playing, like, Blue Finale to reshuffle. Yeah, Clear the Mind, reshuffle. Like, they, they probably have a lot of ways to make sure they don't mill out to Magic Mirror. The sky is my domain. But, yeah, like, these creatures in the air are going to be killing me before that anyway.
I have enough mana for that. Six. I guess I could have mana for that. I guess the ambush the ambush lets me use get mana from Steamkin now. Give me enough mana now to play the Ravager Worm. So for for those of y'all that play a lot of brawl, do you see a lot of? Do you play against a whole lot of counter spell decks like this? Like, is this a format that's just that just main deck Vela Summer should just should just be a thing? All right, we're gonna play one more match. Um, we'll make it five matches here with this one. It's been forty eight minutes for this league. We'll play one more. Not really. No. No. Okay. So I just ran into a couple. But okay, that's not a real popular thing. Storm, do you play against a whole lot of counterspell decks in in Brawl? Like, should I have main deck? Should I should I be playing Veil of Summer? You see a lot of Golos. Yeah, Golos and I thought. Yeah, I thought the five color commanders, Golos and Nicol Bolas, were the two most popular. I could have Rhythm of the Wild in this deck. I mean, I have I have the Domri. I so I have Domri and like Shifting Ceratops. Shifting Ceratops would have been incredible to draw. That last game we never did with against the mono blue deck. That would have been mean. Okay. All right. So, so y'all are saying that you don't really you don't see very many counter spell heavy decks. Okay. So we just got we just got kind of unlucky to play against two of them. It sounds like. Yeah, I, I thought Golas and Nimiza were the two most popular. Commanders.
nothing but dust when I'm done. Hmm, they're putting Golos in the graveyard. It's not something you see too often. Yeah, you can put seven of the seven dwarves in a deck. Oh, come on. <laughs> Wilderness Reclamation? After I just discarded Brontodon. They only have two green mana as far as putting counters on Kenrith goes. All right, so we can have Hellkite get a 1-1 counter and taste with help of... With help of the Riot from the Domri Chaos Bringer.
shot. Oh, they have mass manipulation. Uh. What a beating. What a beating. Why was that card ever printed? Hey, let's have a fun game of magic. Nope, never mind. Alright, so it definitely seems like we need to be playing Veil of Summer. I think... That Steamkin was, was really good there. But yeah, I think I would definitely play Veil of Summer moving forward. And um, the Night Pack Ambusher, I didn't love... Didn't love the war boss. Um, so where would we fit in Veil of Summer here? Probably don't need the Zertar Goblin. But I guess, I mean, we need to keep our creature count kind of high, though, like with Domri, with the Domri's minus ability. So like, 22 is, is about as low as I want to be playing with that. So we probably want to take out a spell. Maybe this Escape to the Wilds. Yeah, it's kind of expensive. Like, our, our curve's already pretty high. I think we'd take out the expense that Escape to the Wilds, maybe, and play the... The Veil of Summer there. I like Sunder Shaman. You know, it can only be blocked by one creature. There's there's so many artifacts and enchantments that people play in this format. I, I like the Sunder Shaman. I think this is this is good enough. I think it's better than other four mana creatures, basically. Um, but, you know, sometimes you can give this thing haste and everything like that. Again, I, I don't want to get I don't want to go under twenty two creatures. But I, I like it. I think there are just, a, you know, like basically everybody's playing Arcane Signet um, and everything. And it's this is a difficult thing to block. If you give this thing Riot, it's even better. I think that's an underrated card. I like that card quite a bit. But yeah, I think I would definitely play Veil of Summer. Because um, these five-color decks, these Golos and Niv-Mizzet decks, like they're they're playing black removal. You know, like your Niv-Mizzet decks are trying to play stuff like casualties of war and and all like the black removal spells and stuff also so yeah just might as well just play veil of summer it's too strong of a card all right so there's domri um not super successful with the wins there um but yeah it was first first try with the deck and and everything um had some good interesting games but, you know, just mass manipulation is just an I-win card, which is not um, an enjoyable experience. But that's, that's, a, that's a card they decided to print for some reason. I don't know. Uh, I, d I don't think the deck was that bad, though. I think, I think the deck was perfectly fine. I think we, you know, like if we play the games again, I, I don't think that we would necessarily just go one and four again uh, in those matchups. But they just didn't go our way. All right, uh, if you're watching it later on YouTube, though, uh, let me know what you think about Brawl and everything. You know, Leave some comments. Let me know what you're playing in Brawl if you're having fun with, with the format. And, of course, hope you hit the like button and subscribe over there as well. But thank you so much for watching some Domri Chaos Bringer Brawl, and I'll see you for the next video.